Hello my friends and welcome to the video. So today we are kicking off a cheat day. That's right, I said cheat day. And we did stop at the one and only 5 Donuts and I'm gonna get into why I'm gonna be doing a cheat day today and give you guys a little explanation for it. So without further ado, let's just begin. So we got this big old box of donuts. It's been a little while since I had some donuts. So check it out, we got five massive donuts and uh, the strop, strope, stroop waffle, strope, strope, strope waffle, that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, there's a strope waffle on top of one of these donuts. So let me move some things out of the way so I can get to the almighty cronut at the bottom. So oh, there you are. You miss me? I miss you too. All right guys, this thing needs no introduction whatsoever. So here we go. Cheers. Just as I remember. Sweet, flaky, buttery. Phenomenal. First donut is down. And next up, you guys have seen this one before many times, but I couldn't leave there without it. The almighty maple, <laughs> every donut from 5.0 is the almighty because they're just too good. But yeah, this is the maple bacon. It is called the Super Troopers. Maple frosting, chocolate drizzle, candied bacon. This thing is absolutely amazing. So the next three are three that I've never had before. I did want to get a Corona. I didn't get the Cookie Monster and I didn't get the Plant City. Yeah, we have three others that I've never tried, so. Maple bacon. Mm. It's unreal how good these donuts are. And I do have a protein shake here. Two scoops of protein. Gotta keep these gains. And then also I got some OJ as well. No caffeine, so it's been about nine weeks since I haven't had any caffeine whatsoever. And I feel great, I feel amazing. There's no like ups and downs in my energy levels. It's just consistently smooth. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I love caffeine like not that I would have a tremendous amount of it I'd have like maybe like one energy drink a day and maybe one coffee a day here and there but usually it would only be one thing of caffeine but yeah I was like you know what I'm just not gonna have any caffeine and I feel great so next up this donut is called the salted caramel crispy now I love rice crispy treats and look at that we get some rice crispy treats on top so it is a glazed yeast, marshmallow fluff, plus crispy treats and salted caramel syrup, Heath bar crusted bottom. All right, let's give it a whirl. Well, it's an interesting combination. The chewiness from like the marshmallow and the rice crispy, along with like the soft donut, amazing creation.
All right, and next up, this donut is called the Cookie Dough Sunday. So check it out. We have a yeasted donut, chocolate frosted. There is whipped cream. We have a strope waffle and chocolate chip cookie dough along with a cherry on top. All right, let's give it a go. I want to try to get that cookie dough in there. That was a chocolatey bite. <laughs> Let's see if this whipped cream can tame down the chocolate a little bit. There we go. That was a bit better of a balance. All right, and last and final donuts. This one is called the Apple Pie Kit Kat. So inside this donut, it is apple filling, Biscoff crusted bottom, whipped top, and apple pie white chocolate Kit Kats. All right, let's give it a whirl. I just lost the Kit Kats in the box. Oh, look at that apple pie filling. Oh, man. I'm getting donut everywhere. Well, all right, guys, it is 8.57 a.m. That is how we are kicking off this cheat day with some delicious donuts from 5.0. And yeah, again, a big thank you to 5.0 for making these top quality donuts. Hands down, my favorite donut shop in the world. So yeah, that is gonna be it for now. And I will be back with some more food very soon. <laughs>so it is currently 1 21 p.m so i've just been hanging out by the pool for the last hour relaxing a little bit and it's been quite some time since i had those donuts so i just placed an order online with outback and they have this super amazing appetizer called the three cheese steak dip so we got that we got some wings so we're gonna go pick it up come home and time for meal number two sit let's go come on Everywhere I go. Do you do? do. <laughs>
How you doing? Good, yes. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. folks and we are back so we got the three cheese nacho dip which it smells super amazing oh it's so cheesy super cheesy so there's three different cheeses in here let me actually read off what is exactly in it i did screenshot it so i could tell you guys so it's a blend of steak there is gouda parmesan jack cheeses red bell pepper and onions served with tortilla chips for dipping so yeah we got some Tortilla chips here. We got some good old bread. Now, Outback's bread is pretty good, but it doesn't compare to Texas Roadhouse's bread because their bread is crazy. We got an order of mac and cheese, and then also we have 10 wings. Check these babies out. So I did get them hot. It was the hottest option that they did have. So, without further ado, Let's just begin. I think uh, I kind of want to start with this dip first because it is seriously crazy. This is this is like pretty much the only thing that I wanted from Outback, but this wasn't enough. I had to add a few things to it. So, all right, wow, just look at that. All right, here we go. Three cheese steak dip. Damn. That is seriously so amazing. So there's like a good amount of steak in there too. It's super cheesy, has a nice spice from the peppers. That's just amazing. so I can add some butter to this bread. All right. Yeah, that steak dip is seriously, that stuff is crazy. There's just so much flavor in it. The meat itself has flavor. I don't know what they marinate it in, but, and me, I love bread. So we just got some classic bread and some butter. I need a drink. Agua. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, the bread. Yo como pan. That means I eat bread in Spanish. Yo bebo agua. I drink water. <laughs> yeah, my Spanish is pretty poor. But I try. Oh, 
was denn hier? Celery. All right, and now we are gonna dive into some of these wings. So we do have 10 wings here. They are hot. Well, I, I did order them hot. Let's see their spice rating. But yeah, the spice rating on these, I'd probably give them like a, a three out of 10. There's like barely any spice to it. Yeah, the wings are okay. I've never had them before from Outback. I just kind of wanted to try them. I definitely had better wings. Let's try some of this. I think it's blue cheese. And the last one. All right, and last but not least, we do have this mac and cheese. So since I have some chips left, I'm gonna eat the mac and cheese with some chips. It's actually too difficult. I do have my Team Big Bite spoon. Once again, thank you, Hakari. I love this thing. It allows you to get the most satisfying bites. Super cheesy. All right, now I just have some chips left. I don't really have anything to eat them with, but I'll take them down.
All right, folks, we are back and we have a package. This package is all the way from the UK. So I'm very excited to open it up. So let's do it. Yo, <laughs> Dude, this box is heavy too. All right. Seriously, this is just too damn awesome. You guys are crazy. You guys spoil me. It's just, it's just unreal. Oh, there's more. Almost done. <laughs> All right, so we have a lot of stuff here. So first off, we will open up this letter. Wow, look at that handwriting. That handwriting is like amazing. It's super tiny print, but it's like perfect. That's wild. Hey Nick, hope this parcel reaches you okay. Hope you and Zoe are doing well during this crazy time. Things here in the UK are still pretty restricted. Putting together this package was actually more difficult than I thought it was going to be. It was hard to know what you can and can't get into the United States, so I'm really sorry if I've messed up and sent you something you've already tried before. I have included quite a few childhood favorites of mine and have put a few notes on things to help you. I wanted to say a massive thank you for your videos. Your content is always such a high standard. You can tell you put so much time and effort into your videos and it does not go unnoticed. Thank you. I know you hear this all the time, but your videos have really helped me in my relationship with food. In particular, your older videos on nutrition. Would love to see more content on that topic soon. But equally, I know you're busy, so please feel free to ignore that suggestion. Please can you also make a quick apology to any British people watching if you open this box in a video that is. I tried my best not to get British things for this box, but I know some people will be annoyed. I have or haven't included certain things and a big sorry to them too. Hope you enjoy. Please let me know it arrived okay. Love, T. Thank you so much, T. That is so awesome of you. Thank you for this perfectly written note letter with this amazing handwriting. It's, that is just look, one more time guys. Look at that handwriting. That is just wild. All right, so let's see what we got. Uh, we have, some digestive biscuits. So there's actually notes on all of these. Really good dunked in tea or coffee. I can get through so many of these with a cup of tea. I put some English breakfast tea in this parcel for you. But no way, she has some tea as well. Disclaimer, every British person likes their tea differently. How much milk slash sugar you add is your preference. Some crazy Brits even drink breakfast tea black. Put tea into a mug and add boiling water. Let tea bag brew for a few minutes and then take out. Add a splash of cold milk, not too much, not too little, and a teaspoon of sugar if you want any. I don't put any sugar in my tea. Enjoy a cup of tea with a biscuit while complaining about the British weather. <laughs> oh man, that is too funny. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely do the biscuit and tea. Um, we have a flake. Flake bar, I think I've had one of these in the past. Um, we have some jammy dodgers. <laughs> jammy dodgers. I've never had these before. We'll definitely have to try some of those. Uh, Jaffa cakes. I don't think I've had these. We'll have to try some of those too. Um, we got some sherbet fountain. We have some love hearts. Never had those. Uh, double Decca. And this is so cool just to see all the different stuff from all different countries. This one says, I know you're not really a chocolate person and neither am I, but this would be my favorite chocolate bar if I had to have one, mainly because it has sweets in it. This is a Dairy Milk Marvelous Creation. Uh, right here, this is a Stoats. Blueberry and honey porridge oat bar. That sounds pretty good. Over here, this is Percy Pig. 
made with real fruit juice. Uh, you guys know how I feel about fruits. We're definitely gonna have to dive into some of this fruity candy. Some jelly babies. We also have some wine gums. Over here, this is some licorice of all sorts. A little note on here too. These are kind of a love it or hate it item. I personally only like the pink or yellow ones, even though I'm pretty sure they all taste the same. <laughs> uh, we got some fruit pastels, pastilles. I'm probably butchering that name. Past, past, pastiles, pastels. Sorry. Then we have some fizzy pigtails. I'm definitely gonna have to try these. These were my absolute favorite sweets growing up. They still are to be fair. I used to save up my pocket money to buy them as my family couldn't afford to shop. No way, I'm gonna have to try these too. Yeah, these are these are fruity, made with real fruit juice. Those are definitely going down too. We got some squashies. Man, we got a whole lot of stuff here. These things. These are called Mr. Kipling Five Mini Battenbergs. 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 And this is Mr. Kipling French Fancies. And then, what's this? No oh, way. This is for Zoe. I couldn't resist getting it for her. We all know she loves donuts just as much as you do. Okay, what is it? No way. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. I gotta put it on her. I don't know exactly how you put these on the dog. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. That fits you well, Zoe. Huh? What do you think? You like it? What you think, huh? You like it? <laughs> I don't even know if that's the correct way that it goes. But again, thank you so much, T, for all of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna actually go make this tea very quickly, and then we'll be back to try out all these goods. Come on. <laughs> She's got a little bandana on it, that's awesome. All right, so I didn't have any milk, so we are just going black tea here. So, move a little bit of this to the side. Slide this up here. So I'm gonna go for these biscuits first. They are called the digestives. Check it out. Got a little chocolate on one side. Top of the morning to ya. Wow. That combo though. So you dunk it, and literally the tea just soaks into the biscuit, but the chocolate holds it together. So as you bite into it, the, the biscuit just crumbles as the tea just soaks into the biscuit. It's crazy. You British people are onto something. And this tea is really good, by the way. Mmm. <laughs> Damn, that is tasty. I really like the flavor of the actual biscuit itself. It has like a really like It's kind of like a graham cracker consistency, but how can I explain it? I 
I don't know. But all I gotta say is I, I am enjoying this. We gotta save some room for this other items. But yeah, hands down, that biscuit and tea combination, phenomenal. I wanna try out this Stoats Blueberry and Honey Porridge Oat Bar. You know what, actually, I'm gonna dip this into the tea too. It's kinda oaty, it might like, kinda soak up like the, the biscuit did. Let's see. Yeah, it tastes like a really healthy blueberry oatmeal bar. And basically that's what it says it is. <laughs> Stokes wholesome and hearty. Blueberry and honey porridge oat bar. I actually might need a second cup of tea. That stuff is good. All right, next let's dive into some Jaffa Cakes. I think I'm saying that right. Oh, what are these things? They look like cookies, but they're, they're very soft. Kind of like, almost just like those biscuits, but not. What the? It has like a jelly inside. So it is a blend of dark chocolate, light sponge, in a smashy, in a smashing orangey bit. Oh, that's what it is. It has like a, like a, like an orangey pop to it. Mm. It's crazy into the tea because it literally soaks it up. And the little cake turns into like, it just, again, mends in with the, Again, just mends in with the tea and just turns to like, kind of like mush, but it's a bad word to describe something because it sounds like it tastes bad, but it actually tastes really good. Damn, the applicates are bomb. But I still think those digestive biscuits are my favorite. All right, next up, let's try out some Jammy Dodgers. Literally a childhood classic. I think I'll like these. They got like fruit in the middle of it. Oh. Oh, it's like a nice strawberry jam in the middle of it. Seriously, this tea combination with like biscuits and crackers is gotta be the best combination. Because when I went to go eat this by itself, like I bit into it and it kind of went like kind of powdery and like coated my mouth and made it kind of dry. But you eat one of these and you take a little sip of the tea, it just kind of goes in there and just softens everything up and it just mends in your mouth and just all that flavor is crazy.
absolutely genius. I'm gonna actually get some more tea because this combo is so fire. Ooh, that tea though. All right, next up, I think, uh, let's dive into some of these Percy Pig, Fizzy Pig Tails. Oh, they kind of look like those peach rings that we have here in America. But it's like a, I'm guessing strawberry, like a strawberry pigtail. Whoa. They're like pretty sour. Nothing a little tea can't handle. Just clears the palate. <laughs> I think I might start having to have tea with every meal now. I think Nutty does that. Literally, she like has tea like three times a day. And now I can see why. All right, next we want to try some of these Percy Pig. Uh, what's the difference? They're both like a Percy Pig brand, but this one just has like little pigs on it. They're not like tails. Check it out. Oh. These are kind of like more like fruit snackish. Yeah, they're not sour or anything. They're just sweet, like a kind of like fruit snacks. These are really good. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the whole dog. All right, next up, we're gonna try some of these French Fancies called Mr. Kipling. I've never had these before. Let's check them out. Whoa. Like little cakes. I'm gonna go for the strawberry looking one first. So it kind of looks like just like a Oh, yeah, that's good. I 
It's like a strawberry yellow cake. And I love yellow cake. All right, next, let's try out, I guess this one looks like it's vanilla. Oh, it's actually lemon. That's interesting. All right, there's chocolate ones here, but I think I'm gonna avoid those. We'll do another strawberry one. Mm. I think so. Strawberry is my favorite one. <laughs> All right, we'll do another lemon and then another strawberry. And then I think I'm pretty good for the day after this. All right, and the last and final piece we will go with the strawberry one. Cheers, my friends. Well, all right, I think that's gonna be it for the food today. All right, folks, so yesterday we did consume 10,000 calories. So the morning of the cheat day, we weighed in at 207 pounds, and that's pretty much where my current body weight is staying while eating 4,200 calories every single day. That's basically like my maintenance, so that is typically how I look when I wake up. I look kind of flat, kind of on the smaller side, and then at the end of the cheat day, we did weigh in at 214 pounds, so it was seven pounds gained throughout the day. And then this morning, we did weigh in at 208.4 pounds. So I was up 1.4 pounds, but as you guys could see in my physique, I did look a bit bigger. My muscles were more filled out. So eating, you know, 4,200 calories a day, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh, I wish I could do that. When you get to that point, it starts being kind of like a job. You know, my body is just burning through calories like crazy with all this CrossFit training and my maintenance calories right now is 4,200 calories, and I'm eating around 600 grams of carbs a day, so it's a lot of food, and it's basically like a job. You know, so I kinda wanted to have this 10,000 calorie cheat day just to kinda see where it puts my body, how I feel, if it boosts my performance, because as I used to do cheat days every weekend, I would kinda use it as a day to fill up glycogen, and then on a lift that I really wanted to improve, I would have the cheat day the day before, so that way I'm just topped off, I'm ready to go, I feel great, and I would always progress in my training. So with CrossFit, it's a little bit different because we're doing a lot of like endurance stuff and like heavy breathing, but I was like, you know what, I just kinda wanna see what happens. So yesterday, we ate 10,000 calories, and as you guys can see, didn't really change too much on my body besides kinda filling me out, and I did gain like 1.4 pounds. Um, which that is just gonna burn off throughout the week. Tomorrow, I'll probably be back down to 207. But yeah, that is gonna be today's video. I wanna say a big thank you to T for sending me over that package all the way from the UK. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And like always guys, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. quite a few childhood mem I've included quite a few childhood
I've included qu <laughs> I've included quite a few childhood favorites. 